came here with like Tesla. So we had a lot of people very interested in our things you didn't know about the Model X. So back by popular demand, we have things you didn't know part two. Yeah, did you know that the Model X tires, they have specialty tires, um, even the standard ones that are Conti Silent is what they're actually called. They're Continental Silent brand tires and have a special foam interior lining inside those tires, which reduces cabin noise by nine decibels. And essentially it's just the foam padding that dampens the sound before it penetrates the tires and into your cabin. And with a car this quiet, anything you can get to get rid of road noise is beneficial and that foam padding inside those tires is. I did not know that. <laughs> so we know that Tesla has all kinds of Easter eggs hidden in the car and I have one that you probably don't even know. <laughs> so go ahead and tap on the T at the top of the screen for five seconds. And then we enter the access code 007 check out the suspension yeah it shows so we know that yes you know this it shows the submarine but when you go into the diving section <laughs> yeah that's the driving tab that typically that is, driving. Driving. that is diving now check out the doors now this is one that a lot of people miss right here instead of driver it says driver. Oh. <laughs> oh i love it look at those engineers at tesla getting all tricky here with the Having a little fun with the code. Just a so little it's attention a, to detail. <laughs> take the R out. That's pretty cool. So speaking of another engineering fun design detail, did you know that when you're an autopilot and the steering wheel icon comes up in the top corner, the steering wheel in the corner turns to match the actual steering wheel inside the car turning. So it, it is actually uh, in sync with that. So you can see the car turn as the wheel turns. It's a pretty cool little detail. All right, here's another one for you. There's the speaker button on the steering wheel, and when you press it, you can actually put commands in, like bug report if you notice something's off, or a feature request. Yeah, you know, it actually makes a recording for, I believe, about 30 seconds. Bug report. Passenger seat inaccurately reads seat unlatched. And it says thanks for your feedback on the screen in front of you. But it records it, sends it to an engineer's desk, a Tesla engineer in California, and they can hear if, if you had an issue with the car and you know send a software update to it. And we actually did this. When we were first starting making videos, we tested the wings with all kinds of fruits and vegetables, and we noticed that the wings, when they hit something, just stopped. And we requested that they actually go back up a little bit, so if your hand was stuck, you could get it out. And um, the next yeah, within a next few upgrade, weeks. <laughs> it, it did that. Yep, so anytime an obstacle is caught beneath the wings, it actually stops and goes back up a couple of inches now to, to let you free that obstacle. Now, did you know there's a feature called active hood detection and something that came to our attention recently on teslarati.com where I think it's really one of the single coolest features of Tesla and it shows their innovation and the value they see in safety. And basically in the event of a low to medium speed crash, the hood instantly raises several inches on impact to just help cushion the blow for a pedestrian as most often when a pedestrian is hit by the front of a car, their body folds over, their head smashes onto the windshield. And in some markets around the world, there's a pedestrian safety requirements and Tesla has incorporated the active hood feature in their cars just as a result. This was actually something that was documented in Australia by a woman driving a Model S who hit a kangaroo. <laughs> and was the kangaroo okay? Kangaroo made it just fine. And she noticed instantly that her hood went up a couple of inches and uh, you know, presumably to cushion the blow for the kangaroo. Wow. But the kangaroo lived and hopped off into the outback. And then they said, why was the kangaroo crossing the road? <laughs> All right, here's another one for you. Did you know that in the event of a power loss where there's been an accident or something in the car, you can actually manually open up the falcon wing doors. You just take off the speaker grill and pull a tab. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You pull a tab and you can push the falcon wings up manually. And my understanding is that it is extremely heavy to, to move those doors up manually. But if you got to get out, that's that's one of the ways yeah. to get out from back there. All right, we'll leave you with a little bonus one here. See these little holes down here underneath the cup holder? That's where the cabin air temperature sensor location is. And that's where within the app, you can actually see what the temperature is inside of your car and set it to cool or heat in advance. And where the cabin overheat protection feature also comes in right there where you can you know, have your car automatically do that for you when it gets to a certain temperature. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and learned some new things. Um, let us know in the comments below and be sure to like this video. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please press the like button and comment below. 
That really helps my channel grow as it tells YouTube to share our videos with others and help spread the word of sustainability and EVs. Thanks for watching.